Why isn't Grandma here yet? Didn't you say she'd be here soon? She should have been there by now. I'll call her and see where she's at. She didn't answer. She must be driving. Oh, I think she just got here. Did she get a new car? I don't think so. Her car is red, right? The one here is black. Maybe she took Grandpa's car. <gasps> Why do I feel like that's like not the grandma? Is this it? The image won't load. I'll look at it later. Oh, this is so bad. Hi, everyone. I'm Gabriella, and welcome to a scary text message story. Let's jump right back into it. Someone's getting out of the car. It's grandma. Okay, good. I'm gonna let her in. Talk to you later, mom. Can you call grandma? She won't let me leave. I'm already late for practice. What do you mean she won't let you leave? I mean she won't let me leave. She locked the door. She's acting weird, mom. Okay, my meeting ends in 20 minutes. I'll call her when it's done. Call your coach and tell him you had a family emergency. Mom, she's acting weird. She tried to take my phone. Abby, I need you to listen to me carefully and don't freak out. What? tells me not to freak out, I instantly freak out. I just saw the picture of the car you sent me. That's not her car or grandpa's. What? Let me call her. I'm leaving my meeting now. I just called grandma. Take a deep breath and please don't panic. She said she's not at our house. Then who? That's the woman that is at the house. That looks like my grandmother. She got in a small accident and is waiting for a tow truck. Then who is at the house, mom? She looks just like grandma. Listen to me, do whatever she says. Just don't let her know you know she's not grandma. She's cooking, it smells awful. Whatever you do, don't eat the food. What if she asks us to? You said to do what she says. Say Sarah's allergic and you're not hungry. I need you to tell me what color her eyes are. Mom, I'm scared. Does my mom know what this thing is? Like what is going on? Like what is pretending to be our grandma? She's making three bowls of whatever she cooked. It looks like puke. Abby, don't eat it. What color are her eyes? She's making us sit at the table. Her eyes are brown. What is do I tell Sarah what's going on? Not yet. Don't scare her. Just make sure she's safe. I'm leaving work. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Grandma has blue eyes. Okay, how is this in our like, house? We already established it's not actually grandma. So who is this mom? And the fact that she was like, oh, look and see what eyes she has makes it seem like my mom knows what's up. Oh my goodness. If you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, make sure you subscribe because I post awesome videos like this all week long. And I'd love for you to be a part of our scary family. If she has brown eyes, she's not grandma. What does you mean? Please hurry. I told her we weren't hungry. She's mad. She sent us to our rooms. Who is she, mom? That's okay. Just stay there until I get home. I don't think she'll hurt you if you just stay calm. I'll explain soon. I need you to answer another question for me. I'm gonna go get Sarah. I can hear her through the wall crying. What do you want to know? Okay, keep her safe. I need you to tell me what color sweater she's wearing. I'm in Sarah's room now. I hear her coming down the hall. How do you know she was wearing a sweater? It's in the middle of summer. Stay with Sarah, stay calm. I'm 25 minutes away. Like pick up the bags, mom, let's go. Please just tell me what color it is. She just opened the door. Girls, I know you're in there. Please come down for dinner. I know you're hungry. We're not hungry yet. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I swear we'll be done in a few minutes. <laughs> this is so scary. If your little grandmother was supposed to come and instead you got an imposter. Mom, I looked. Her sweater is blue. Okay, she just walked away. She's being really loud, screaming in the hallway. She's just shrieking. She sounds crazy. Don't go out there. Don't look at her now. I have to go out there. I need to see what's going on. She won't stop screaming. Abby, don't. Why, mom? What is she? know that she's not telling us. Let us in on this secret. Did she do something? Like, why won't she tell us what's happening? Abby? It won't open. The door won't open. Mom, she locked us in. What? The doors don't lock. She put something in front of the door. It won't move. Just stay in the room. Don't panic. I'll be home soon. 20 minutes. 10 minutes later. Are you still okay? Abby? <gasps> We're okay. I told Sarah we're playing hide and seek. I put her in the closet. I'm trying to open the door. She went downstairs. I have to get out of here. When I open the door, I'm going to take Sarah and run to the neighbors. Please be safe. If she comes back up, stay in the room. Don't let her catch you. Why is she like 
like a ghost, a demon, a witch? Like what? Uh, I got the door open. She put a chain in front of it, but it fell down the stairs when I opened the door. It made a super loud noise. Uh, did she hear you? I think so. She's coming up the stairs. Stay quiet. Keep Sarah in the closet. Don't let her in the room. <gasps> She didn't try to open the door. I don't think she's coming in. Where is she? I'll be home in five minutes. Stay in there. I, I can hear her. She's just breathing heavily on the other side of the door. I think she's watching us. Mom! Ah! Run, Abby! Stay calm. I'll be there soon. We can't stay here. I'm taking Sarah and we're leaving. I'm going to climb out the window with her. Be careful. It's not too far of a drop. We will be okay. We made it out. Sarah, okay, are you? Yes, we're fine. I'm taking her to the neighbor. She's going to chase you, Abby. Why? Like, how? Again, why is she no? Like, why is this, like, evil thing pretending to be my grandma? And where is my real grandma? Let's go. Whatever you do, don't let her catch you. What happens if she catches us? Just know it's not grandma. It's a long story, but she's evil. So she does know exactly what she is. I'll explain soon, I promise. Girls, get you didn't eat your dinner! Sarah, run! Abby, I'll be home in one minute! We tried the neighbors. There's no one home. She's chasing after us. Run! I'll try to distract her when I get there. Don't turn around and don't look back. I'm home. <laughs> so intense! I don't see her. Where are you? Abby? We're hiding. I'm in the neighbor's tree house. She chased us. She ran so fast, I didn't think that was possible. Stay Quiet. Do you see her? Yes. She's pacing around the neighbor's house, looking in the windows. Gosh, mom, she's so creepy. I don't think she knows where we are. Stay there. I'm coming. Whatever you do, don't come down. That's not grandma. I think we've established that it's not grandma. Mom, I'm here. I'm calling the police. No, don't do that. Why not? There's a crazy person pretending to be grandma. Do you still see her? The police can't help us. No, she was right there a minute ago. That's what I thought. Mom, what's going on? What is that thing and what did it do to grandma? Stay in the treehouse. I'll explain soon. No, explain it now. I'm inside her house. I had to see if she was still there. Okay, we're coming. Didn't she just say stay there? No. Okay. <laughs> Stay up there! It's not safe yet. Abby, there's something you need to know. What? Mom, you're not making any sense. Where did she go? Why are you so calm? That woman, well, she wasn't a woman. What? Abby, our family is, well, cursed. I'm sorry, cursed? Yes, let me explain. Your grandma, she was a very poor growing up. She wanted to be able to provide for her family, but didn't have enough time for many jobs. One day she found a spell that she thought would help. The spell allowed her to be in two places at once. Oh my gosh! She thought it would be a great idea so that she could work two jobs and make enough money to feed her family. The problem is she did the wrong spell. When she made her twin, that's what she called her, she didn't use a strong enough binding. So sometimes when she's panicked, her twin twin gets out and she used black magic to make her twin so when she was out she was very dangerous and evil i think that's what happened she lost control of her twin and was panicked about being late to watch sarah her twin tried to come here to watch you for her but because she was made from dark magic she is very dangerous when her twin takes over it's hard for her to bring her back her twin wants to be real too so she tries to take over grandma's life <laughs> a good idea but like clearly not one that worked out well she wanted to take you two away but she loses her powers and disappears when grandma gets too close she was getting too close so her twin went away i think grandma just pulled into the driveway why didn't you tell me about this because i didn't want you to be afraid of grandma she's a good woman and she can usually control her twin i think she's almost here and her twin noticed that's why she disappeared i think grandma got her tow truck someone is coming now hi amanda it's so nice to see you. Where are Abby and Sarah? Stay away from my family! Mom, what's going on? Wait, was it the twin? I'm not going anywhere. Not without feeding you all dinner. Abby, whatever you do, don't eat the food. Ah, hello? That's the end? Why have so many more questions? So it wasn't really the grandma who came. It was the other one who took 
over? Did she officially take over the other grandma? Oh my gosh. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to send it to a friend to spook them out as well. Until next time, I'll see you guys later for another scary text message story. Bye!